One aspect of homesteading that nobody talks about is the downside. It's probably my least favorite aspect, and it is cleaning up after your animals. Now, we do the deep litter method in our chicken coop, which is amazing because you really don't have to clean up too often. But for our other animals, they are using a lot of automated cages that we have set up and we need to make sure that we're cleaning them pretty regularly and you're making sure that your animals are living in a clean environment we have our hatching time cage here it's made of all plastic type of things so we're just going to be cleaning it out power washing it and i want to show you the process of how to do this so that you know what it would actually be like if you got this cage and if you were going to clean it so the first step that we're going to do is actually take out the trees of all their waste put them into our compost give them to our chickens a little bit then what we're going to do is empty the water over here we will take out all of the quail Put them in our cage and start cleaning so let's get going gotta put the hair up to get started but if you don't already know me my name is danielle of the sweater homestead and welcome to our channel where we bring you new content every week about how to start your own homestead and live a more self-sustainable lifestyle super gross so i'm gonna go put this out and we'll host this out in a bit for the quail i actually have an old rabbit cage so we're gonna put all of them in there to hold them out for while we clean this and hopefully it's just really quick this cage is pretty dirty you can see really Underneath, a lot of waste has been collected in the corners. We want to definitely target those areas, especially in the back corners of the cage and all the water. So let's get to it. Let's quickly chat about some of the tools that I'm using. This is something that doesn't need to be crazy expensive to do. For my cleaning tools, I'm just using an old sponge. And then I did actually just purchase a toilet cleaner. What's really nice about this is it's rounded and it's gonna fit really well in the corners, which is what I am really excited about. I also just cleaned some of the other things with it. And it's just a really nice strong bristle, but you can get some smaller dish cleaning items that might be helpful. And then in regards to the cleaning product, in regards to the cleaning product that I'm using, I actually just got Dawn and I'm using a food safe item and just really making sure to hose off everything really well. I'm using the hose to our house, but if you have a power washer, I definitely suggest that. We do not have enough um, water in our well to actually use power washers, but if you are able to do that, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. And you can see what I've done so far. There's already such an enormous amount of changes from what's dirty versus clean. Now it's time for the actual cage, which is definitely going to be my least favorite aspect, but hopefully we can get this done. It's already been around 20 minutes for the cleanup, just if you're thinking about time here. So we'll see how long it will actually take us for the cage.
11.45, so it's been another 25 minutes, and I finished off hosing and scrubbing down the actual three layers of cage. So we're just gonna let everything dry off in the sun, which will be very quick because it's really nice and warm outside, and then we'll start assembling them back up again and put the curl back. see it took around one hour to clean the cage and then left it out for another half an hour to dry so really not that long of a process it's pretty easy to clean and it makes a huge difference but it's so hot outside now so I'm gonna go ahead and take a dip in our pool and we'll see you guys again next time bye <laughs>